Hey guys, this is Mike. I'm here with a review of Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword for the Nintendo DS. This is Team Ninja's first action-adventure game for the Nintendo DS, and I'd say it's a pretty good one. This game uses the touchscreen in many innovative ways, such as tapping the screen to take out some flying bats or flying enemies, whatever it may be. Uh, as you can see right here, it's just simple, one, two, three. You can also use it to alley-oop up walls. Combat in this game had me a little mixed. You can slash enemies by just sliding over them. Uh, sometimes you can even perform uh, in the Zuni drop, which is where you launch the enemy in the air and slam them into the ground head first. But it's hard to pull this, these moves off, and I can just get by without using it. One move I do like is the ability to use Nimpo and just you know drag the stylus around the scre screen, and it's a fireball. Uh, just taking down enemies is fun, using that. Uh, here you can see, uh, this is a cutscene from the game. Uh, these are all hand-drawn by Tecmo's artists and Team Ninja's artists, and they're very well done, very well laid out, and they tell a beautiful story. It's just, they're just amazing to watch. I don't know anything better on the Nintendo DS currently. Another amazing thing uh, is that the story is just very well told, and it's so much better than what the original Ninja Gaiden on the Xbox was. That story, in my opinion, was not told uh, at all. There, it wasn't told very good at all, and it just wasn't, didn't immerse you enough. As you can see, though, some of the enemies, some of the boss battles here are uh, actually presented in 3D, and this boss is just a pain to take down. As you can see, I'm just getting my ass kicked over and over again by her, and she's just really hard. Now, one of my issues with this boss is that she is an exact replica of what we saw in Ninja Gaiden 1. But overall, I mean, it's fast-paced, it works, and, you know, when you take them down, it's very rewarding. Overall, I give this game a pretty fair score. I give it a um, 9.0, which I think is pretty good. I mean, the game is just sometimes too short. The combat can get a little iffy at some points. But the game just looks smooth, and it runs smoothly, and it's just very much worth picking up. Um, this is my review. Catch you guys later.